Jake Robinson. I'm the Chief Development Officer for Red Lake Incorporated. Greetings from Tropical Foods, a perishable exporter from Miami, Florida. Our company's called Lacrosse Distilling Company. We, uh, we're an organic distillery out of Wisconsin. My name is Brett Tate. I'm the Agricultural Attaché at U.S. Embassy Santiago. My name is Aisha Grigsby. I am the Director of International Promotions for the Western Hemisphere for USA Rice located in Arlington, Virginia. My name is Derek Robinson. I represent Dairy America, and we are currently exporting to Chile. So our product is cultivated wild rice. It's a product that uh, the indigenous people of northern Minnesota, uh, like the Red Lake Band, have a deep, deep cultural connection to. A bunch of positive health benefits. So two years ago, we had a great success. We initially participated in the USDA trade mission. We were looking for a strategic partner in South America, specifically in Chile. And the trade mission was a, a great event for us to meet the different local players and potential partners uh, for us to enter the Chilean market. Rice from the United States is not traditionally exported to Chile. And from this trade mission, I feel that there are many more opportunities that we can explore, and we're excited to do that and maybe get some U.S. grown rice here in the market. This year we're celebrating the bicentennial of U.S.-Chilean bilateral relationships, so that's 200 years of, of relationship between the United States and Chile. Well, in my first few days of the agricultural trade mission here in Santiago, it's been just vibrant, so much opportunity. Had several experiences and they've all been incredibly positive. Uh, the Chile current trade mission, we've had an opportunity to visit some of the Chile markets. The business to business meetings have been really beneficial. Uh, we've seen some real success in terms of companies that have shared, shared a lot of interest. They've known our product, they just have never known how to access us. And so that introduction has been the start. And so prospects, because they're familiar with us, they're familiar with our brand, uh, we should see something fairly immediate even into the end of this year. And as a result, with Nutrisco, we found a strategic partner in Chile that is committed to building brands, building relationships. And for us, that's critical in, in a market that we don't know that well, but that we're confident and, and uh, we're 100% committed to developing over the years. For one, FAS is an incredible partner. They really take care of so much of the work and logistics. So you really just got to show up and meet people, be part of the scene here in Chile, get to know the market and the people and the cooperators, um, and then see what is possible for you and your state and your growers. So at the supermarket, I saw that there were a lot of opportunities for U.S. products, and U.S. products are very well received here in the Chilean market. Chile is a country that has a lot of products from the United States, which is a demand for food quality. I have seen that we are working on products that have an added value. And I believe totally in what the USDA has been doing in our foreign agricultural services to promote business in other countries, both on the part of the United States exporters and trade is a reciprocal agreement. It's not only the United States exporting, it's also opportunities that may occur for other countries that can bring their products into the United States. Uh, which means that we connect to it in a different way. Um, it's not just a commercial commodity crop. Um, we, we produce it and stand by it during good times and bad uh, and really, really try to grow uh, the industry in a meaningful way to return value back to our band members. So two years ago, we had a great success. We initially participated in the USDA trade mission. We were looking for a strategic partner in South America, specifically in Chile. And the trade mission was a, a great event for us to meet the different local players and potential partners uh, for us to enter the Chilean market. La, las relaciones comerciales se establecen en base a la instantaneidad. Hoy día la tecnología nos permite estar conectados vía WhatsApp y vía streaming. And USDA and the team of the United States have been very helpful. Fantastic um, opportunity for us to showcase our brands and to see if we can get some distributors going um, down here in Chile. Well, I've had several experiences and they've all been incredibly positive. Uh, the Chile current trade mission, we've had an opportunity to visit some of the Chile markets. 
and we're looking forward to this afternoon and the rest of the week actually doing one-on-one -on -one business contacts, which are the most special and the best part of the mission. We've had an opportunity to also, in the past, be a part of a, a trade mission into Spain. And we are very thankful for the help. Congratulations on our 200th celebration. Felicidades.